Hello, lovies. Welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come and Ladija's Creations. Lovies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. But in this video, I'm going to be talking to you all about the secrets. The secrets. Here comes the secret. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Keys are the secret. Jesus said, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. See, Jesus give us those keys in his word. That's why they're secrets, because you have to seek after them, and only the person who holds the keys knows what they unlock. But Jesus wants to give you access to those keys. Within those keys are promises, rights, privileges, and access to everything in heaven and on earth. Obedience opens them, and disobedience locks them up. That's why the Word of God tells us obedience is better than sacrifice. Wouldn't you want to obey the Word of God, God Himself? Wouldn't you want to obey Him and learn of his keys that he will give to you freely just by your seeking to understand and your receiving the knowledge of them to open up heaven on earth in your life. But if you don't access his word, you won't know what his promises are for you. If you don't access his word, you don't know what rights you have in the kingdom of God that resides on the inside of you. If you don't access his word, then you won't know what privileges he freely gives to you. I'm going to tell you the story about a young lady who left home at an early age. She left home because her family was poor. She left home because her family was struggling. She left home because they didn't have anything to eat. She left home because she knew that in order for her to live, she was going to have to leave home. She left home at the age of 16 because she knew that there was no work to be found in the small town where she lived. And occasionally she called back to check on her family. Sometimes she would send them money, but somewhere along the way, she became estranged from her she family. She lost contact with them. You know life happens. She got into an abusive relationship for a while, and one of the beatings that her boyfriend gave her landed her in the hospital. Well, while she was in the hospital, all beaten and broken and bruised, because he did a number on her, he broke so many bones that she was pretty much almost like in a vegetated state where her body just didn't work. And while she was in the hospital during recovery, she ended up meeting this doctor, a female doctor who had been abused in her life as well. So she decided that since she didn't have any place to live and she, you know, she, her heart just went out to her. So she decided that she was going to allow her to stay at her house because she had no memory and she had no place to go. And the doctor thought to herself also, you know, I have this big home, all these rooms, I have hired help. So I can allow you to come and stay at my home until you recover. And then we can take it one day at a time and see where I can help you to get back up on your feet. Well, her recovery ended up taking about five years. Mind you, she didn't have her memory. Over time, her memory came back just a little. So now she's been five years without talking to her family. They have no clue where she is. And they don't know what has happened to her because when she ended up in the hospital, she didn't have any identification on her whatsoever. Well, her parents had been looking for her, but to no avail because during the time that she was in this abusive relationship, her and her boyfriend, they moved around from state to state. So they didn't have any clue as to where she was. Her memory came back, but not all the way back. She could only remember leaving home. She didn't remember where home was. She didn't remember her family. She didn't remember any of that. Well, during this time that she was away, her family became wealthy and they ended up opening big box stores similar to Home Depot, Walmart, and Amazon, but they still had no clue where their only daughter was. And over the years, the doctor brother, who was a well-known surgeon, began to date her and he ended up marrying her. So she went on to live a beautiful life. 
even though she never fully recovered her memory. Later, her sister-in-law, the doctor who helped her in the beginning, passed away while on vacation in Italy from a freak car accident. And then eight years later, her husband became severely ill. And that took a toll on his health where he was no longer able to be the renowned surgeon that he once was. And over time, they were drowning in bills. They went bankrupt and he later passed away from his illness. But because of his status in the community, he had an extravagant funeral that some of his colleagues paid for. But after the funeral, she was left with no one and once again, nothing. Someone from her hometown was watching the funeral on TV and noticed her and thought that she looked familiar and reached out to her brother whom she didn't even know because he was born long after she had left home. But her brother reached out to her and lo and behold, she was his long lost sister. Well, by now her parents had passed. They had passed about two or three years prior and it was just her and her brother. Even though she didn't know her brother, her brother felt like he knew her because her parent never gave up hope on finding her. And over the years, her parents made sure to share photos of her with him. And they talked about her on a daily basis until he felt like he knew her. So when she came back to live with him for a while, he did the same thing with her until she recovered her memory of her parents who vowed never to forget about her. The moral of this story is a parent who loves their children will never forget about their children, no matter how far they stray, no matter the distance nor time. They left her an inheritance, even though they didn't know if she would ever be found or would return home. Jesus did the same for us. He left us an inheritance of keys, an inheritance to help us to live a righteous life, one in which we dominate earth, an inheritance to be prosperous and have good success, one in which we will restore the family, the home, and our work lives, the work that he placed on the inside of us to do from the beginning of the world. So you see, whether we leave him or come back to him, he left us access, rights, and privileges, just waiting on us to take full advantage of them. The real secret is that he loves us so much so that he provided everything that we need in those keys. Therefore, shouldn't we love him enough to do his will? His will is right. His will is pure. His will is just. He will nothing but the best for us. Therefore, we should honor him, trust him, believe in him, and have faith in him to know that he orchestrated our lives from the beginning so that we would be prosperous and have good success. Love you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord at this time, go ahead and repent of your sin and ask the Lord to come into your heart. For the word of God tell us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Love is baptize yourself into the word. Get into his word so you would know what your rights, your promises, and your privileges are to be prosperous and have good success in the kingdom of God. Develop a prayer life, one in which you will be able to see results when you pray God promises back to him, his word back to him. For the word of God tells us in Isaiah chapter 55 and 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it. So when you pray, you're praying for God's will to be done, and his will is in his word. So when you pray, you're supposed to pray God's word back to him so that he will know that you understand and know that he sent this word to you. And with you knowing that if you're trusting, you'll believe he will accomplish those things in which he said he would do. But love is this time to go. I love you guys. And I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you already know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.
the secret. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. The secrets. Everyone is always talking about the secret. And it's funny how everything that they're talking about comes from the Bible. And it's ironic that a lot of people don't want to hear the word of God, but yet they want the secrets. So they'll go to these people who are telling them about secrets here and secrets there and secret this and secret that and how to manifest things when all they had to do is the secret. Here's the secret. Here's the secret. All they had to do was to look in the word of God and it tells you how to manifest everything. Everything that you need Everything that you want. Shh. Be quiet. Here comes somebody. I can't tell you the secret why they 